welcome back i hope you're good i hope you're well i hope everything is okay with you so today i thought we can do this flawless everyday makeup routine makeup so you know just concentrating on the skin making sure you've got a good base and the eyebrows who cares about the eyeshadow and the eyelashes when in a rush? And I'm sure you're not going to do that every day. So, you know, we need a good full coverage face and a full coverage eyebrow. And I mean, yes, full coverage because you need it that good. So, if you like to see how I achieve this look, just keep on watching. So, I'll start by moisturizing my lips. And for that, I'm using my strawberry crush glossy lip balm it's a deliciously scented lip balm with almond oil for sweet and sexy strawberry kisses you can literally find it anywhere in superdrug asda and boots and then when i've done that i just make sure that i moisturize my skin like my skin is dry and also it can be oily so i use some basic a better for combination skin so i I use this Pons Dry Skin Cream Rich Hydrating Facial Moisturizer. It's literally so good. I first got this when I was in Canada and I'm telling you I've used it ever since. Like it leaves my skin moisturized and hydrated and I absolutely love it. And I'd highly recommend you guys to get it as well. It's really good. And then I just take my e.l.f. Aqua Primer Mist. I literally love this guys I just spritz some all over my face and just keep it a little bit more hydrated and just making sure it's all in there and then I take my foundation that is the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation and my Becca the Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream and in the Kat Von D I'm in the shade Deep 78 Neutral and then in my Becca I'm in the shade Sienna and the these are really good guys and they're both um, one fluid ounce and that's 30 mils so they're really good and then to just buff it all in I just take my elf stippling brush and I literally just apply it all over I my favorite Kat Von D concealer I absolutely love 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 this concealer like the coverage is just unbelievable I apply it just in a triangular shape just underneath my eyes I was a bit annoyed guys because it's literally finishing oh my god like I'm literally dying I'm literally dying I repeat dying because i absolutely love it. i just had to just throw it away and just throw it away and then i grab my next favorite thing which is my nyx concealer this is another full coverage concealer you know how i'm like with my full coverage concealers i like to cover everything up
I then take my Zoeva or Zoeva, people pronounce it all differently, but it's my Zoeva 227 Lux Soft Definer Brush, and I just use that with my face contour kit press powder and highlighter in one to snatch that nose. You know, we need to snatch it. No, I didn't get no nose job, it's just snatching and contouring your nose. So that's just what I did. Now I just take my L'Oreal Paris True Match Foundation and this is in the shade Espresso and it's also 30 mils. So I just take it on the hollows of my cheek and I take it around my forehead, on my temples and as well on my jawline just to create that shadow of contouring. <music> My camera literally died but I'm just setting my contour with my sleek face contour press powder with my Mikasa F111 brush so now I'm just going to move you a little bit closer so you can have a clear view on how I'm going to be doing my eyes and for my eyes I'm going to be grabbing my Morphe 350M I absolutely love 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 Morphe like everything I'm all about everything Morphe I highly recommend you guys to go and get Morphe it's really good and of course I'd have a discount code but you can use the other influencers uh, discount codes for like 10% off I believe that Morphe just gives a 10% off but I'm just going to use just literally like two brushes in this and I'm literally going to grab my Mikasa E230 brush and I'll just dip it into that reach like dark chocolate brush sorry into that deep chocolate eyeshadow and I'm just going to dip some in and then circular motions just around my eyes literally it's a day look so you don't need a lot of products a lot of eyeshadows once again we're not really concentrating on the eyes it's mainly about the skin and just the eyebrows so just taking that brush just in circular motions and whip and just going around and the other brush that I'm going to use is my Zoeva 3110 spot liner you'll see a little bit later on just for the highlight it's literally so easy and so simple you just need one color not a lot every day when you're going to work when you're going to school when you're just doing some errands it's just a good just to create that little bit of a shadow and just that little bit of uh, color to your eyes you don't need much you don't need shimmer you don't need anything I literally used just mattes and this palette literally just has all the neutral colors or the blending colors and it's really good so I highly recommend you guys to go and get the Morphe 350 brush and once again with my brushes I'll just link it down below oh my god somebody was making me laugh then that was my sister was behind the camera so shout out to my sister but anyway we're just going back in into that shadow and just making sure that you're blending it all you don't really need to be precise about this because you just need to just create that little bit of a shadow just onto the eyes and then now like i said before onto my just taking that light on my zoeva that is the 310 spot liner brush and I'm just taking that really light shade and just going to just apply that 
as like a highlight in the inner corner of my eyes you know just for that little bit of a pop you just need that little bit of pop in there just to brighten your eyes and make your eyes stand out a little bit again it's just literally just the little details that counts and i'll just take a little bit more and just spread it onto my eyelid but not a lot so that's just what i did guys I then take my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I live for this mascara. Like, I have super curly eyelashes, and this mascara actually makes my eyelashes look like I've got some length. It's really good. And a tip if you want your eyelashes to look a bit thicker, just apply more coats on. It's really good. I highly highly recommend you to go and get this mascara i cannot use anything else but just this mascara i absolutely love it and now for my eyebrows i'm just using the mikasa e400 brush if you haven't seen my eyebrow tutorial i'll link it in the description bar below i'm videoing go away <laughs> oh my god no stop i'm videoing i'm about to finish i'll call you back And now I'm just applying my SBC blush using my Zoeva 127 Luxe Sheer Cheek Brush. And I'm just going to apply that on the apples of my cheeks and around.
So now I'm just taking my Mikasa F200 stippling brush and I'm just dusting away that powder, making sure there isn't any harsh lines on my nose. And then I'm just going to take the brush again and just blend it all around my face, just making sure that everything is blended in and there's no harsh lines everywhere. I've then just taken some powder, some loose powder and I've uh, highlighted underneath my cheekbones just to make sure that it's chiseled. And then I've taken my sleek um, shimmer highlighter and I'm just using that on the top of my cheeks on my nose and now oh god don't even i know i know i know it's so dirty it's so so dirty but don't mind that means that it's loved and it's used a lot so now i'm just taking my jacqueline hill my morphe jacqueline hill as you can tell it's not sponsored by morphe at all guys i'm not even on the pr list but i just love 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 morphe so much so i'm just taking that golden shade i forgot the name i will link it down below what the name is called and i'm just taking that shimmering oh my god look at that look at that oh my god i can't i can't let's just take a moment let's take a moment just to appreciate oh my god look at that highlight i am such a highlight queen like i love to glow all my friends are always telling me about the glow but anyway that's beside the point so i'm just taking that just on my forehead on my cupid's bow on my nose to just make sure that nose is snatched and highlighted so now onto my lips oh yes my juicy lips sorry guys as you can tell at the beginning we like moisturized it it's still on so now i'm just taking my bf lip liner and i'm just applying that all over my lips just making sure that there's no harshness so we need to like blend it in a little bit yes yes we need to blend it in a little bit and then when that is done i just take my makeup forever lip gloss i forgot the shade again guys i am terrible i need i'll link it all in the down in the description down below but i'm just taking my makeup forever lip gloss in that pink pink one and just applying that all over my lips just making sure that those lips are juicy they're moisturized you know and they can last this lip gloss lasts as well guys so that's a good bonus point and again you can either change the lip and put like a bold lip since everything else is neutral it depends on the occasion where you're going if you're going to school of course just a little bit of gloss if you're doing some errands uh, you can put a little bit of a pop um, lipstick but everything else just a little bit of gloss will be fine and finally just to finish everything off i just sprayed my aqua elf aqua primer mist guys do not open your eyes guys do not open i repeat do not open your eyes i'm telling you that stings in my eyes i do not know what they put in this product but do not open your eyes and this is just a little trick that i learned from nikki tutorials actually i believe she learned it from mario as well to just fan it apparently it dries off quicker just a beauty hack guys so this is the final look i hope you love it and i hope you enjoy it guys thank you for watching once again